Uh, we're gonna see today how to go from, go from TIF data to DSS. Uh, and why we are going to do this is because in HTML sometimes to input data we need it as DSS format and we are going to use it for grid data which there are so many options to input data in this model we use it for precipitation and curve number but if we go to components and we go to grid data manager we can see that there is for precipitation, temperature, radiation and so on and uh, Although uh, HMS is not accepting GeoTIFF or ASCII formats, it's true that it does not work every time and it's sometimes uh, accepted better as DSS. So we're just going to show here how. And so, yeah, let, let's go for it. Um, yeah, so this is for this distributed model over here. And we are going to use first the heck DSS view to create an empty DSS um, file. So we just double click on it and we wait a little bit till it opens. Uh, you can download this program for sure for free in the internet. We go to file, new, we call it an NC01. And we have created the, this empty file. And now we go to the importer. The importer is uh, in the Vortex tool, 0 0.10. We double click on this, we go to the bin, we go to the importer. Tsun tsun. And it shall open in a few seconds. Here we go. We go to the folder, we select our TIFF target um, file, we go to next, double click on, the, uh, on this. We click next and here we have few options we can choose a shape file for the clip data, uh, data source but in this case i already have a clip to my area of interest so i don't need it in the target uh, workspace uh, this is for the coordinate system so for our case we use utm 29 north okay Tar target cell size in our case is 50 but if you have 100 or 200 or whatsoever you can choose uh, we cannot see here the, the bottoms, but we just bring it a bit down and we click next. Select destination. This is our empty DSS file. Perfect. And this, it's important. We need to fill these different uh, boxes. Part A, we give it the name of our area. So in my case, it's ah, Gijo. Part B, it's the coordinate system. Part F is the cell size, in our case 50. Override DSS units in curve number, we just have to use undefined in div. For the override DSS that type, we use inst file. Good. Mm, click next, processing, import complete. We also need to go back to our DSS F file and we will open it to see it so we can see the different uh, um, values that we wrote are here but we also need to say to give it the name of curve number so we are going to go to edit we are going to rename records and in c we are going to use curve number and if you want to input other type of data i recommend you to go to the um, to the manual, to the tutorial, and you can search for internal DSS data type label for different type of data. And if you want to input precipitation, you have to write in this part precipitation. If you want to input temperature, you have to write in C part temperature. Uh, so yeah, I think the manual is good for this part. There are not that many tutorials online, so here is a good resource for hope. Um, yeah, I think that's it. We click OK, the record is renamed. We could also go to display to see if we did it right uh, up to here and go to plot. Hmm, it is grayed out because I need to select my data, display, plot. And we can see the raster data is here. So let's, let's try it. We can go to HMS and I will uh, select the folder to select the DSS that I created, save, run. And it's running so... <laughs> 
of course we, we should check if the data that is giving us is correct or not or if it makes sense but at least the, the model is accepting I want to show you some errors so before when I was testing this tutorial I got this error unit unspecified this is because I forgot the step of give a uh, data units and death bind so this error shows up I got another error data sort is not defined because I didn't change the C part to course number so if you actually read the errors if you get one it's very intuitive so I totally recommend you that um, that's it I, I, I hope it, it is helpful for you and you can just write any comment or anything you need or contact me in LinkedIn if you need any extra help I I usually answer or yeah, any cooperation is also good. I wish you a nice day and bye bye.